Texas has experienced major events this year devastating the lives of thousands. And sometimes it takes the voices of those that can reach masses to come together and make a difference. It's not only about the lights and the fun part of the entertainment business, but it's what goes on behind the scenes that makes a difference. So here we are in Dallas, Texas at the 10th annual Toy Drive with artists like Paul Wall, Emilio Rojas, GT Garza, and many more to raise toys so we can give back and put a smile on those affected. I think this year a lot of people lost a lot and I think a lot of yeah. people realize what, you know, what blessings they do have. You know, today we're doing a great thing. You guys really put you down here to, to do this for the people and give back. How do you feel about, you know, what's been going on in the world right now? Like, the world? To give back. Do you love to do that? If I were to not, like, try to do something better with my platform, it'd be a waste, you know? There's so many people who have so much access and this ability to reach millions, you know, and they waste that shit. And it's like, what are, you, what are you even giving a voice for if you use it to just perpetuate some bullshit? And I don't, I don't, sometimes I do, like I like to have fun and I respect the, I respect that, but there comes a time when people have to stand up. You know, like I think it's our responsibility culturally to, to advocate for people who can't advocate for themselves. Nice. You know? You have always wear a shirt that says like, life got in the way, what does that mean? That's my album title. So like, I feel like, you know, life gives you obstacles, you know? And like, people always asking, like, because there's moments like, you know, oh, Emilio, you were fucking with so-and-so, you were fucking with this person, what happened with this? You know, your manager committed suicide, or like, what happened with this person who's trying to sign you? And I'd just be like, yo, sometimes things are out of your hands, you know? Like, so I like to say, like, life got in the way, you know? Like, because it was either my life got in the way, or, you know, somebody, rest in peace, you know, lost their life, or, you know, like, the universe has a way of, uh, Timing your blessings, you know, and um, I feel that. and that's one thing you learn in music is like music or any business really like it's really important to maintain relationships and treat people well and reciprocation and appreciation, gratitude. Like these are fundamental principles that you should live your life based on, you know. And if you live your life in the absence of these things, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to be able to please or satisfy anybody else, you know. And, um, a lot of what I was running into in New York was that. So like sometimes I, I switch my situation to get rid of toxicity. It's like a purge, you know? Have you been to, have you been to Texas often? Or, I mean, I've been in Texas for the last week. Okay. So good. I've been uh, myself, Dizzy Wright, Jaron Benton, Demrick, Audio Push, DJ Hoppa, Kato, and Reezy. We're working on this uh, group album called One Week Notice. Uh, we came out here on the 13th. We're finishing the whole album by the 19th, which is Wednesday. Or Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Um, we've done like 18 songs in four days so far. Shit's and insane. When is that going to drop? Or when, it's going to drop the first week of January. Cool. Yeah, so we're going to do that. We, we got haven't like, dropped anything in a very long time, right? Well, I got my first single, uh, Vamanos, dropping on Friday. And then the week after Christmas, we dropped this shit. And this shit going to be it's it's gas. Been a while for you though, right? Yeah, I've been quiet. I've been like getting, getting shit right. You know what I mean? I had to move, I had to get, you know, get some things together. What up? I'm Emilio, Rojas, I'm in a cut, by myself, outside of trees, Dallas. Athena's off camera, but I'm in here, she's over there. And we over here, like same area. <laughs> right here and uh, we came down for an amazing cause I think you know the state of Texas has been impacted crazy in 2017 and I think for the past like half a year we've been giving back how has like everything affected you uh, career-wise or just like personally um, you know with everything going on that happened with Hurricane Harvey and then uh, like there's just some, been so many different climate changes like how has that affected you? Um. The Harvey situation definitely affected everybody's family, especially, you know, uh, people that was close to us, uh, people that we heard about or seen on the news. So, you know, for me, um, and for, you know, I guess everybody in the city, it just took some adjustment to get into. Um, you know, everybody's still bouncing back and trying to, you know, put the pieces of the puzzle together. But, you know, it's things like this, uh, the 10th anniversary of the toy drive, um, to get back for the holidays is good for the people. Yeah. How is it, um, Texas is a great, great market for you. Um, like, what do you feel like? Do you feel like that you're, you're finally being able to get back to everybody that gets back that ever supported you? Um, or do you feel like, you know, you want to get more? Or like, what does you guys feel like about what he's doing for the people? We definitely want to give back more. Um, 
more to the you know community, more to charities, and also more just to the people. That's why I think you know in the music that we have coming out, we're dropping Brahma on the two. Uh, January 19th. That's yeah, huge. Yeah, uh, it'll be the 50th anniversary for that. Why did you wait five years? Um, I think we just had to get our situation together. We had to figure out exactly where, what position we were in, actually, um, and get our feet planted. You know, uh, our foundation had to get together, um, setting up different plays, you know, just connecting the dots. The first single we had was with Paul Wall, so, you know, we just wanted to make something different and something live this time for the fans. What does Brown by Honor mean to you? It's just representing the people in a, in a in a dope way, in a, in a manner that, you know, anybody that's 5 to 90, any type of Latin, you know, maybe there's something I can say in this CD that can spark something within you. Or it's something that I say um, that might make you want to get up and start doing music. Or just create something on your own and, you know, have your own energy and bring it to the table. So, you know, being Brah Brahma Honor for me is just representing the culture in the right way. You know what I'm saying? And, and when I look back, maybe it'd be something that, you know, can live forever. You're doing big things for, for the Latin community, and I think a lot of people look up to you. Like, what is in store for 2018 for Liza? We're going to do the Bravo Honor 2 tour, and basically just try to hit up as many cities as we can. Right now we have eight, about 8 to 12. We'll be hitting up Colorado, Chicago, a bunch of different places. And then once we get back to tour, or from tour, you know, hopefully we put out another album and another CD after that. So, you know, we're just going to continue to work, continue to grind, and just put out the best music possible. There you go, everybody. We are here, 10th Annual Toy Drive, Dallas, Texas. Shout out to Premier. I love me, man. It's Garza, I-T-Z-G-A-R-Z-A, -Z -Z man, LaMakaNamePart.com. Shout out to Paula. Hey, we out here, man. Shout out to the city, man, D-Town. I see y'all. Love. Holla. Young G's and them slab rocks. Red, blue, yellow, purple, green, till whip shining like sapphires. Baby Toys, we're out here in the Triple D and D Bell. Shout out to my boy Smooth Bay, what it do? You know what I'm saying? We just toy drive traffic. You know what I'm saying? Give it back. It's, it's encouraging. You so, yeah, you got to. You know, I feel like, you know, when we get that blessings of, 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 of making it, or just, you know, becoming somebody with yourself with your life, I mean, you got to give it back. Even if it's just a smile, you got to give some encouragement. You got to do something. I don't think I've never not seen you smile. You know, that's my homeboy saying. He say, he, he say he think I'm the happiest in the world, but I, think you're the happiest I don't know. I'm the artist I've ever met. I be going through some stuff too. I be going through a lot of stuff. Hey, Mark! Hey, Mark! Harvey's crazy, cause personally, I'm, I was with my mama a lot of We got an organization, Parents Against Predators. That hit our organization. She lost her house. So it's it's just been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Resilience, the bounce back has been crazy. So many, you know, just seeing so many people who lost the most are the ones out front giving back. I'm happy that you do so much It's amazing how music can bring everyone together for a great cause, whether it's good or bad. Thanks for tuning in to End the Cut. We have so much more to come. Let us know who you want to see next time. And be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe below. Thank you so much. Love, Athena. Full of rock, bass, knock, trunk, pop, got more Cadillacs than a used car lot. Mouth full of rocks, four man fox, hit the switch in the back end drop. Airbags, no need for shots. When I pass by, here's the